Good afternoon and welcome back to part two of Gosha Diezhan's choreographic workshop. Uh, for those of you who didn't meet Gosha yesterday, Gosha is a dance artist and choreographer and she's enjoyed a performance career in both ballet and contemporary dance. She danced with Brombe Dance Company, Gothenburg Ballet and the Royal Danish Ballet, among others. As a choreographer, she's had work commissioned extensively here in the UK and she's also an artist in residence at the Hong Kong Academy of Performing Arts, from where she is joining us once again today. Um, as always, health and safety, practice safely, so take note of the space that you're in and adapt the material where necessary. Uh, also, be very conscious of the clothing you're wearing and the footwear you choose today. If you have any injuries, please don't practice today, but watch and learn, take in all the information that you can. And of course, as always with all these classes, um, this session will be available online for you to watch again in the future. So now let's hand over to Gosha. Thank you, Gosha. Thanks Richard, um, welcome back to Hong Kong. Um, today I will be uh, leading the choreographic session two. Um, my name is Gosha again. Uh, if you're new to this um, process, uh, we are exploring uh, English National Ballet's uh, 70th um, history, uh, 70 years of history. Um, I am uh, artistic co-director of Dance Journeys uh, this year. Um, so what we have been doing is uh, looking at various images, um, texts, uh, photography, films, interviews, artifacts um, to stimulate our own creativity um, and create a new piece uh, with a group of 70 young dancers. Um, so yesterday, or the, the other session, we were uh, exploring Swan Lake um, with the idea of um, using circles as a tool to create movement. Uh, and today I would like to uh, focus on two different ideas, bringing them together. So one is um, Coppelia, it's a ballet from uh, 1870 uh, and English National Ballet has a version choreographed by Ronald Hay. Um, the music is by Leo Dolib. Uh, and Coppelia is a, a story, it's a comic ballet. And the main characters are Franz and Swanilda who are Engaged, uh, a toy maker called uh, Dr. Coppelius uh, and a doll uh, called Coppelia. Um, and Coppelius is trying to bring life to that uh, doll. So this is what we'll be doing today, uh, looking at the kind of connecting the body parts as if we were sort of puppeteering uh, our own body. Another thing I'd like to explore today is uh, different dynamics, uh, different ways of working with music uh, and perhaps text uh, to, to, to say, to put emphasis on, uh, to bring attention to different uh, movements. Uh, so how you make those decisions um, influences the way that we perceive, the way that we uh, watch your dance. Um, okay, so I would like us to get started with a little um, mind and body exercise. Uh, so we're not going to be moving hugely to begin with, but there will be a lot of work going on between our um, brain and, and our body by connecting things internally. Um, so I've divided the body today into different sections. Um, so if we look at your body, so I'm going to mirror you. This is my left, um, but you can start with your right. Uh, the first section will be uh, from the foot to the ankle, shin, knee, hip to navel, this is your B. Then you'll uh, connect uh, from navel B through the spine to the top of the head. The next section will be from top of the head, dropping it down to the middle of the ribcage into your left hand. The next one is connecting that hand with the other. Next section, hand back to the top of the head and then dropping it down to the navel one and then connecting it down to the foot and the last part we always finish with a little arch here through the top of the hip and back down in order to start on the other side so again foot to navel navel to the head head to palm palm to palm palm to top of the head head to navel navel to the foot and then up and down um, I'll be using uh, music by Johan Johansson today um, and there are some uh, really clear uh, kind of musical passages that we hear, accents, sentences 
uh, and I would like us to start quite slowly. Um, they come at very regular intervals. You don't have to count them. Just listen to the music. Use two of them to go from A to B to begin with. Um, I'll play the music so that you understand. <laughs> This is one sequence. We're using two musical sequences to get from A to B to begin with. So let's get started. Um, so I'm sitting because I really want to drop my weight. Um, if you want to sit like I do, I recommend that. Uh, use a chair. But you can also do that standing if you haven't got a chair handy. Um, also later in the session today, we'll be starting a sequence on the floor. Um, so make sure that you're able to extend your arms and your legs. Uh, if that's not possible, maybe move a chair or adjust a table. Again, if that's not possible, just adapt the movement to what you've got um, the space for to do. Um, I have created this in my tiny little flat, so I hope that uh, you manage to squeeze that in. But if you need to adapt anything, um, do. Plenty of water. So I'm gonna give you a moment to just look around the space. Get yourselves comfortable. Two, and let's go foot to navel. with uh, which you move so maybe it feels like a brush of a feather or maybe there's a heavier object rolling through your body like a marble ball um, maybe there's some resistance or perhaps it's really easy so just just play with different qualities um, as you keep scanning your body okay ready Head. 
up and down pelvis. Okay guys, so um, one last time. This time you decide how quick or how slow uh, you go from A to B. So you can experiment with different speeds. Continue to listen to the music and allow that to drive you. Um, but you know, it can be as slow or as fast, as varied uh, as you like. Okay, I will just play this mu uh, the music this time and will not be giving you any cues. Hopefully, uh, you remember uh, the different sections of the body. Ready? So I will now teach you a short phrase that is uh, inspired by the idea of um, puppeteering and I'm, I'm going to puppeteer my own body. So I will be connecting to begin with my elbow, knee and head on the floor as if there was a, this invisible string running down the body. Um, so something, one body part triggers the movement of another body part um, uh, that's quite remote um, in the space. Um, so let's get started. Um, I'm not going to give you counts because we will play with uh, music later. But uh, I will give you numbers so hopefully it's a little bit easier to remember the sequence. So starting on the floor, arms stretched. Number one is elbow moving triggering the movement of the knee and the head one two hand to head three move the head four is the arm down arm pushes up and then you release the body back down so one more time one Switch of the body to the other side. 
five, my right hand goes to the right knee, push it. Next movement, get yourself up with a little bit of an effort. Then the hand goes to the knee, picks it up and push it. Let's do that one more time. These are not counts, they just kind of numbers to help us remember the sequence because we will play with the counts in a moment. Let's go through this um, sequence a couple more times, just with numbers. Connect. One, two, a little 
little thing. I'm gonna give you time to figure it out. Um, and then I'm gonna go through it one more time. So this is one way in which we can do it. Now I want us to really play with this music, uh, play with the accents, play with the pauses, play with the stretches. Um, so I would like to illustrate um, what I would like us to do with the music um, by using the text uh, that I found in the Coppelia synopsis. Um, and there's a sentence here that says, Dr. Coppelius is a strange, somewhat sinister toy maker. Now I can read it in so many different ways. I can say, Dr. Coppelius is a strange, somewhat sinister toy maker. I could say, Dr. Coppelius is a strange, somewhat sinister toy maker. So you see, you choose, um, it's still the same uh, sentence, uh, there's still the same words, but you choose um, what you want to bring uh, my attention to when you read out that text. And you can work the same way with the music. Uh, you decide where you want to stop, where you want to stretch something out, um, what you want to bring um, your own and the viewer's uh, attention to um, while you do that. So uh, let's do this sequence one more time with music. Uh, and I will place uh, the accents very differently uh, to what I had just done. Pausing, speeding certain things up,
that you can play with that now a little bit that you've got the sequence um, so I will be playing this music a couple more times giving you an opportunity to do it over and over a few times uh, playing with what you hear what you can find the music and then I will use a completely different piece of music that um, makes me think actually of puppeteering um, but we'll do that in a moment ready so maybe start by placing your accents really squarely like I did the first time and then we're gonna do it a couple more times uh, with different dynamics ready Okay, have a little breath, think about um, maybe just any passages that you're struggling with to remember, go through them so that you can apply the movement with ease to music without having to think about what the sequence is. We'll play that one more time. So this was music from Coppelia um, and it's a well-known piece of music. Uh, I'm sure you have heard it at some point. Um, it's also quite easy to, to follow. Um, now I would like to play a different uh, music from Szymon Druska who um, uh, composed for us for dance journeys. Uh, and uh, this piece has a lot of sort of plucking uh, sounds of the strings uh, which make me think of puppeteering. It's not as easy to count. Uh, I find it quite difficult to count in fact, um, but you don't have to count. You just need to listen to it um, and respond to the music when you hear the accents or maybe choose, choose to pause for a moment and uh, choose to go with the next accent. Um, so the way that we've been working with this music, but now a piece of music that's a little bit harder to um, count. So here it goes.
how did it go? It's probably a little bit harder, um, I'm guessing, than uh, working with that previous uh, music. Let's do that again. Uh, I'm gonna continue playing uh, this music, but there's a, a slower um, sequence coming in. Oh. Give it another go. So use your own body part to move from one place to the next. Also remembering the very first exercise we did today, you can connect them and then send a signal through the body. It could be a ripple, a zigzag, a wave, or not. Just move on to the next body part if you haven't uh, found that connection. Some of the body parts might be quite close, so then it's difficult to really send a ripple from a ankle to the knee. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit longer to explore this idea. 
Let's see if you can remember the sequence. Maybe part of it is improvised, some bits that stick, keep them. So guys, there will be an opportunity to share that later if you want to record yourselves and upload a, a passage to the social media. Um, there will be some information about how to share that with us. I would love to see what you are creating. Right, so um, keep working on that and I will play you the music to help you make some musical choices. the remote body parts, how you can apply gentle pressure to move, to manipulate your own body parts and move it from one side to the other and then the different rhythms, pauses um, that we can apply. Um, so to finish the session uh, I would like us to go one more time through uh, your own sequence, I'll play the music and then one more time we'll go through the sequence that we have been working on together. So your sequence first. It could be semi-improvised, that's absolutely fine. But if there are sequences that you uh, feel really are really successful, you're very happy with, um, also please uh, just remember that, record that and share that with us.
you to visit my phrase. So a very quick recap and then we do it with you. So sequence one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Go with the music. So to finish, uh, I'm going to lead a little stretch. Uh, the first is just a spinal roll down into a downward facing dog like we did yesterday. And I'm gonna give you a new stretch for your lower back. So, inhale, legs are parallel. Exhale, rolling from the top of your spine down. Bending both knees. Let's do a couple more uh, rolls going sideways. Up, down, up, bend those knees and come up and again. Up. Hang away from this arm, release your head, roll down. and for uh, the opening of the shoulders. So crossing both legs on the floor, relaxing your knees to open. Inhale. We're going to bring our hands and elbows together and place them behind our head. Breath in to grow tall from the bottom of the spine. And then on the exhale, bring your chin to your chest. Inhale, release a little. Exhale, go lower. Inhale, release. Exhale, go all the way down to the floor. Elbows down, palms up. Release the head. And stay here for a couple of breaths. Bring 
the arms around you, interlock your fingers and then bring the palms up to the ceiling. Bring them back down. Now turn your palms so they face the floor. And on the inhale, open your chest and look up. Come back. And let's change legs. The other arm in front of you. Start by drawing really tall from the bottom of your spine. Inhale, exhale, bring your chin to your chest. Inhale, release, exhale, go a bit lower. Inhale, release, exhale, go all the way down, elbows down to the floor, palms facing up to the ceiling. And breathe. Just stay here. Feel the stretch of your lower back. Inhale, exhale, bring your arms around, interlock your fingers and bring the palms up to the ceiling. Bring them back down, turn your hands, palms facing down to the floor and open the chest up. Thank you, Gosha. I hope you all enjoyed joining in at home. Don't forget, tomorrow morning we're back with day three of English National Ballet's Youth Dance Summer Intensive, and we are joined by the wonderful Crystal Costa, who will be teaching a ballet technique class. We will see you then.